Next, making a profit from pests. They're an invasive species, breed incredibly fast, attack our native wildlife and threaten to overwhelm our lakes and rivers. But a small firm in Berkshire has seized upon signal crayfish as a business opportunity by eating them. I'll let Alan Sinclair explain. We've got enough bait left, just two to go, Tom. Trapping an invasive species is bound up in rules and regulations, but some problems present opportunities. There's a few in this one. There is a market, they taste absolutely fantastic. They look pretty prehistoric, but they do taste good. That's why they were introduced in the first place. This is just eight traps today. Uh, we, we empty 150 a day. Okay. You can imagine <laughs> how many we catch. They're like mini freshwater lobsters. That's no, not too bad. North American signal crayfish were brought to the UK 50 years ago to be farmed for European markets. But released into the wild, their population exploded. They're now rife in oh. every river and lake. One little one. They have a massive damaging impact because they burrow into the banks and that causes erosion. The, the fish that spawn in the summer, so the coarse fish in the summer, they lay their eggs in the summer, and the crayfish just march into those nests and eat every egg. And if they run out of food, they just start to eat each other. They're in too many places already, and we definitely don't want them any further. Trapping crayfish to eat will barely dent their numbers, but even this level of management is awkward. Tank nine. Because in an effort to slow the spread, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA, has banned the sale of live crayfish. So it's harder to sell in bulk to established European buyers. This building was designed for a Swedish market or export market. We used to pretty much be able to sell live everything we could store in here. Three to four tonnes a week we used to get rid of. Basically, the legislation that came in in 2019, stroke 2020, we've had to invest in a lot of technology. But marketing Kennet crayfish as an artisan product here, Andrew's business is expanding. It's recently invested quarter of a million pounds in processing and packaging systems. We can basically supply par cooked or fully cooked. A lot of our sales at the moment are to foreign people living in the UK. Um, pretty much... If it's not in batter, people over here, the English, tend not to try it. Unless we can educate people in this country to try them, basically. Alan Sinclair, BBC London, Reading.